Mine's an espresso martini, please, Steph. <laughs> Join me for that later. <laughs> yeah, back with Steph a little later. And of course, we'll be speaking to Philip Hammond just after 7 o'clock. Now let's go to Carol, who has been telling us that it might be feeling a bit more spring-like. Lo and behold, there she is with daffodils. Morning, Carol. Good morning, both. Good morning to you. You're absolutely right, Sal. Today it's going to be a beautiful day, if you like it, sunny and mild for the time of year, because that certainly is the forecast for most of us, but not all of us. At the moment, we've still got a lot of showers, some of them merging, giving a heavier bursts of rain across Scotland, parts of Northern England. And then we've got another front across the south, draped across Cornwall and the Channel Islands. That's giving you more cloud and also some damp conditions. And there's some sea fog across the English Channel as well. So first thing this morning, we've got the cloud and also some drizzle and some rain across Cornwall and the Channel Islands. Move away from that. And by eight o'clock, we're looking at brighter skies, variable amounts of cloud, and that holds true as we move northwards through the Midlands into Wales and Northern England. Very windy at the moment, though, across Northern England, central and southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. There's currently a wee bit of drizzle, but that will break up. And then we've got the showers, particularly so across parts of North East Scotland, Angus and Fife, and some of those are going to be depositing snow on the hills. The wind will prevail for much of the day across the Northern Isles. Here too, we're looking at a lot of showers, some heavy with hail thrown in as well. But for most, late morning into the afternoon, well, it's going to be a stunner. There will be a lot of spring sunshine. It will feel mild for this stage in March. Our top temperature 15, possibly 16, somewhere in the southeast. And in light winds, feel lovely. Now, as we head on through the course of the evening and overnight, well, we'll hang on to the clear skies across the east. So here we could see a touch of ground frost. Meanwhile, our weather front, which today is across the Channel Islands and Cornwall, pivots and comes back at us from the west, introducing thicker cloud and also some rain and some drizzle. A lot of that will be on the hills and the coasts. So tomorrow we start off bright in the east. However, where we've got the cloud, the rain and drizzle in the west, that through the day will push and then behind it, we'll see some breaks in western areas, particularly if you're somewhere in the shelter of the hills, for example. Now, temperatures in the northern half of the country will be down, more especially across Scotland and the far north of northern England. But for Northern Ireland, the rest of England and Wales, we're still looking at temperatures in double figures. For example, in the south at this time of year, the average should be around about 10 Celsius. Moving into the weekend, our first weather front goes through, sinking southeastwards. And then by Sunday, we've got another one coming in from the west. That's a cold front. And behind it, we'll start to pull in some cooler conditions. It's not suddenly going to turn cold, but it will be colder or cooler than it has been. So here's Saturday. Remember, we've got the weather front, which is crossing us, moving down towards the southeast, not particularly heavy. Quite a bit of cloud associated with it. Behind it, drier and brighter, some sunshine coming through. Temperatures 11 to about 14 in the south. And it's on Sunday we start to see the temperatures going down as here comes our cold front, bringing this rain in with it. Ahead of it, a lot of cloud. It's moving eastwards. And then behind it, we will see some will be quite breezy at times and temperatures 9s, 10s, maybe an 11. So as we head into the new week, temperatures come back up again. But by midweek, well, it's looking rather unsettled. So a lot going on with the forecast once again, Charlie and Sal. Carol, thank you. We'll talk to you again very soon. Time now is 6.52. When fire raged through... Clan